dirty bands came from dirty work. Dirty bands that make their feelings hurt. I don't speak on shit that I don't know. If I seen it, gotta let them know. All my niggas, they on red alert. Dirty bands came from dirty work. All my niggas, they on red alert. Dirty bands came from dirty What's up, guys? Back with another video. A um, couple of things I want to discuss today. Actually, two pickups. Um, both of them pretty recent. The first one is the um, most recent collaboration between Bodega and A6 on the uh, gel classic model so as most of you already know this is a silhouette that hasn't been used in a long time I think 25 years or something like that was the last time that ASICS um, dropped a colorway on this um, specific silhouette so Bodega decided to you know bring it out of the archives which is really cool um, it's nice to see you know uh, boutiques using different models than you know your regular gel light threes or gel light fives something like that so that was really dope um, a couple of days before the release on January 6th we uh, me and a friend of mine got an invite to the release party um, that Bodega was having and it was in you know at a undisclosed location in Boston so it was pretty cool uh, we showed up around eight o'clock it was really um you know, the whole setup was pretty cool. It was like in this shady building. You have to get buzzed in and everything. So, you know, they put it together really, really well. Um, we get inside. They had some live performances by uh, Cousin Stiz. He's a local Boston rapper, if you guys are familiar. I think uh, Michael Christmas was there as well. So it was really cool. The usual bodega heads were there. Um, you know, really good vibe. So we were there for a little while, and um, as I, I don't know if most of you already know or not, but um, Bodega partnered with Hypebeast to um, basically what they did was they did a scavenger hunt type of thing for um, three different pairs in three different cities, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it was Montreal one day, then they did San Francisco, and finally the last one was in Boston. And so what they did was they hid a pair of shoes somewhere in the city. Uh, nobody knew where it was, and they would basically tweet out the coordinates at a random time. So once you saw the coordinates, you had to kind of, you know, try to find where the shoes were. So um, we were at the party for about an hour, and we step outside, and um, my buddy's like, yo, they just dropped the coordinates. So, you know, I put them in my phone, and I see that the coordinates are showing um, exactly where the party is in the same exact building. I'm like, you know, there's nothing here. I'm not sure what's going on. So my buddy's kind of running up and down the street, <laughs> a little frantic, trying to find him. And I take, um, you know, I walk about maybe, I would say, a half a block up. And, you know, I just kind of stop for a second. And I'm looking at my phone, and I turn my head, and I see that where the building ends, um, there's a fence right in between the building and the fence is a box shoved in there. Give you guys a look at this box. So I see this box uh, shoved in this small little crack uh, in between the building and the fence and this was actually chained to the fence. Uh, so I run over, I grab it, and I pull it and it's chained to the fence. Um, you know, they, they also put out the, um, the lock, uh, the co combination for the uh, lock on the Instagram which I didn't even like realize, I didn't even look at it. So um, the owner of Bodega who was there, he, he kind of yelled out the uh, the combinations <laughs> to me so I could get unlocked, which was 2006. So I got it unlocked, um, I opened up the box, I'll give you guys a look at it, and inside here were the shoes. Um, they were in a size 9, but um, they told me I could exchange them for whatever size I want. Um, what I actually ended up doing was I ended up giving the shoes to my buddy because that's his exact size. I actually ended up just buying my pair, which was fine. Um, you know, we were there together, so I'm glad he got the shoes as well. But what I was really excited for was this one-of-a-kind bodega jacket. There is only one of these in existence, no more, um, came inside the box, and I'm super happy to have this. You know, I've been shopping at Bodega for a long time. I love all the guys in there. I know everybody in there. Um, all of them are super cool. Jay, Kev, Nay, um, Ivan, all those guys. They're really, really nice down to earth. That's why I love shopping there. Uh, they might not get, you know, all the dopest, craziest releases, um, but I think that, you know, the people that work in there are really, really cool, so that's why I, I like going in there. So yeah, anyway, I got this jacket, which is really, really dope. You can tell the colorways kind of match the shoes. I'll give you a look at the back. Um, it's kind of like a windbreaker type of deal under here. You got like a vent, um, a mesh, same thing went on the inside. 
and surprisingly it was actually in my size. It's a medium. It's a little tight, but um, not not to the point where I can't wear it. So yeah, I really love this jacket. Uh, really nice, and like I said, it's a one on one. I love the colors on it, so you won't see it anywhere else. So I was really really happy to find the um, the package and all of that. It was really cool. So then uh, Saturday release day showed up at Bodega. Uh, just like I said, I just decided to buy my pair. So first thing was the box that they did was really cool. Um, this is kind of like the thing that they used for the coordinates um, when they tweeted them out and uh, they sent a pic from Hype Beast. They had like you know a map with the locations on there. So this is really cool. The name of the shoe is obviously on the road, uh, which is really nice. It's based on like. I think it's almost like a desert theme or whatever, um, which is a pretty cool theme. Uh, these shoes instantly reminded me of the uh, Offspring Gel A5s, the Desert Pack, if you guys are familiar with them. Um, another cool thing that they did was they threw in a disposable camera with every single pair of shoes, which is a really nice touch. And as you can see, the paper inside there, yeah, Bodega, you can look at that, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a nice touch. Shoes did come with several sets of laces. The laces that came in there were these green ones. Uh, you also had some pink ones, both flat laces, um, and some rogue laces, which I actually like and I put in the shoe. So this is the model itself. Um, this is a Gel Classic or Gel Trendy, I think was the original name, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think it was actually called a Gel Trendy, but at some point they changed it to Gel Classic. So this shoe is to me is kind of a combination of a couple of different silhouettes. Um, on the heel, as you can see, you have that same type of um, heel counter that the Gel Respector has, but it's a lot slimmer. It's not as bulky as the Gel Respector. On the front here, this kind of reminds me of the Gel Light Speed, if I'm not mistaken. This is like the same front. It does have a tongue. It's not like a split tongue or a neoprene liner like the Gel Light 5 which is really nice. Overall, the shoe is very, very light. It's a great model, and I think we will definitely be seeing more collabs. Um, you know, uh, at least I hope we do. I really like this model. I love like, uh, I love the way the tongue sits on it. Um, the colorways on this one specifically are, you know, amazing. Like I said, it really reminded me of the uh, Desert Pack um, that Offspring did. You have beautiful, um, like, desert-type colors. You have this nice green here, this beige. This, um, you know, it's almost like pastel colors. This pink here you have, um, a tan color. So, yeah, it's just a nice mixture of colors. Um, you have this speckled midsole. A lot of people didn't like the speckle on here. I personally don't mind it at all. And you also have this gradient that, like, fades into uh, this brownish or tannish color, which is a really nice touch. The outsole is all green, a couple of different shades of green, which is nice. And the insole, as you can see, it's like that tan color with a purple um, A6 logo on the inside. Um, both the A6 logo on both sides is like that um, army green color, which again is really, really nice. And the liner is that army green color as well. Um, the rope laces that I decided to throw in there, as you can see, they're like a... Um, a white and army green color, which is really, really nice. Uh, the tongue ha does have that army green um, little um, loop here that you usually have on the tongue. So yeah, on the back you have A6. Uh, really nice shoe, very clean, very wearable. I love it. Um, kind of regret not doubling up on this. I probably should have. Um, but yeah, like I said, dope shoe, really dope release. I just want to say a big, big thank you to all the people at Bodega. Um, like I said, they're always great, and that's part of the reason that I shop there. Um, I just feel like Bodega does a great job with everything they do, so big shout out to them. Alright, so pickup number two is something that had a global release on Saturday, January 11th as well. Um, these are the Foot Patrol Beams Saucony only in Tokyo. Um, as you can see, the box is a pull-out box, which is pretty cool. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a pull-out box from Saucony, so it's something a little different. 
Um, I love Foot Patrol. I feel like they, you know, do a great job whenever they put out collabs. Uh, this is the first time I've seen anything from Beams. I'm not too familiar with them, but Foot Patrol, like I said, um, always does a great job. I went down half a size in these. I grabbed an 11 and a half just because I feel like the grid 8000 runs a little big. So these fit great in an 11 and a half. So I would recommend going down at least half a size. Um, the name is Only in Tokyo. And let's jump right into the shoe. Uh, the model itself, pretty comfortable. Um, I like the way it looks on foot. It is a little bit heavier than a lot of other models, but um, very, very comfortable. There's a lot of cushioning in the shoe and it does have the grid technology as you can see. Um, so when I first saw this shoe in pictures, I thought that this material that they used was gonna be like a prime knit material for some reason, but it's actually uh, more of like a sweater. It's almost like a knitted sweater material, which is um, something different It's actually really cool. I like the fact that they use like the whole multicolor um, knit print there, uh, which is really nice. The overall quality of the shoe, I, w I would say, is great. Um, I definitely give it an A. The suede is really, really nice. As you can see, it's a great quality suede. Um, the materials overall are really nice. Um, the inner liner here, I thought the um, the leather that they used was um, dope as well. As you can see, it's like a great quality leather. So. Um, you know they they did a good job with this collab and I don't think Foot Patrol puts out anything that's um that's shitty so yeah <laughs> um you have this little tag that's on the tongue that says only in Tokyo and on the front it says Beams and Sakani it, it's a little weird because it's not actually attached and as you can see it just kind of sits there so you know it, it's a little weird you can tuck it in which um which is probably what I'll end up doing um, or you could just, I guess, leave it out, but I don't know how that looks. It's just kind of just sitting there. Um, it came with two sets of laces. One of the laces, well, the laces that actually came in the shoe, I'll give you guys a look at those. Um, they just kind of match the beige color there. Um, nothing special, but the second set is, again, that multicolor print, which I love. Um, I think the laces are really, really dope, and the, whole, the, the overall um, look of the shoe is really nice. The insole, as you can see, is just an orange insole. It does have Foot Patrol and Saucony on it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, the, the, um, the overall uh, quality of the shoe is really nice. It's really cushioned. Um, the outsole, as you can see, you got white and orange. Um, you got that little grid technology in the heel. Um, yeah, just a really comfortable shoe. This is my first grid 8000 model. Um, I've been waiting for something dope to come out. I know they dropped like three or four different colorways a while back. I tried one on. Um, I just wasn't a fan of the colors that they dropped. But this was definitely a pickup for me. Um, you know, I know they had a original release a while back, maybe a few months ago. Um, and then they just recently had a global release. So let me know if you guys got a chance to pick it up. Um, that's all I really have for today. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. Peace. Who you know? Who you know? Who you know from out here? Your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. Hey. Who you know from out here? Your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. Who you know from out here? Your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. Who you know from out here? Your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. We be posted out here, we slangin', zangin' themselves, boy. Loud all in the mail, got it shipped out from Cali, though. Need me on the scale, make it move like a rally horse. Rollin' down the window, blowin' smoke with my valley heart. Look inside my cup. Ask my drink where to smack me for Damn, We got all the product, folk Boy, what you asking for? Damn, and I never tell Even if it's the last resort Damn, Addicted to lean Every hour we pass a foe She got a crush on stairs Best believe I'ma snatch your throat But who you know from out here? Your name ain't ringing no bells, boy Who you know from out here? Your name ain't ringing no bells, boy Who you know? Who you know? What? We be posted out here, we slangin', zangin' them sales, boy Aye. Tattoos on the body, I got her dressed in Gianni Woo. Nighttime sloppy top in the morning, she bust Pilates Woo. Rocks all in the socks back then when I was on the trolley Aye. 
tryna push Ferraris and move up to Bugattis. Hey, you ain't gotta ask, cause you know my section, Roddy. I ain't gotta blast, cause you know my hood around me. Running from the past, man, I know that shit got cloudy. Cash all in the stash when we load, duck and count. But who you know from out here, your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. Who you know from out here, your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. Who you know from out here, your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. We be posted out here, we slanging, zanging them sales, boy. Who you know from out here, your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. Who you know from out here, your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. Who you know from out here, your name ain't ringing no bells, boy. We be posted out here, we slanging, zanging them sales, boy. What? 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 We be posted out here, we slanging, zanging themselves, boy.